Okay, today I'm going to uh, talk about the Form 5 MX first chapter, which is the progression chapter. Okay, this is the part one for the arithmetic progressions. Okay, so I just so this is this is pretty much the introduced videos to guide you about okay what is arithmetic progressions. Okay, so okay, you will see a group of data over here which is some number over here and then the first number is 2 the second number is 5, 8, 11, 14 and dot 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 means the continuous number that means, a, means you have the sequence number continue after this okay so when when we talk about arithmetics okay when we talk about arithmetics we have to know this one for arithmetic, they are using difference. Okay. You will know what is the meaning different later. If this one, if you compare to the geometric progression, the geometric progression actually they are using the ratio. Okay, so for arithmetic, you know we actually we are using the difference. Okay, what is the meaning by different? For example, we have to find what is the difference between 2 and 5 and what is the difference between 5 and 8 and what is the difference between 8 and 11 and, ele and what is the difference for 11 and 14 so this is what they call it difference okay? so in, in this chapter, different they use a alphabet to represent which is D D stands for difference Okay, okay, D stands for different. Okay, so okay, let's find out what's the difference. Let's say what is the difference between two and five? The difference between two and five means you have to use five minus two, you can get the different equal to three. Okay, okay, but before that I, I think I have to introduce another thing which I think very important. Okay. In uh, Arithmetics, the first number they call it first term. T stands for term. Okay, T stands for term. So first term they call it T1. So the second term they call T2. So this the number two is T1. Number five is T2. The second term, num the third term is eight. The fourth term is eleven, and the fifth term is fourteen. Okay, so First term, first term in arithmetic, they always call it A. Okay, remember the symbol A stands for first term. This is very important because sometimes the exam will ask you to find R A or to find out first term. So you have to know A stands for first term. Because later you're going to see some formula to find term. Okay, so A stands for first term. Mean the first number in the in the group of number, the first number, the first term, okay? Okay, and then in order to find D, I mean in order to find the difference, okay, we always use the behind term minus the in front term. For example, in here we can use T2 minus T1. So the second term minus the first term, okay? Or we can use the third term minus the second term. Okay, we can use second term minus first term, and then we can use third term minus second term, or we can use the fifth term minus the fourth term, and then all you will got the same answer. For example, T2 minus T1, 5 minus 2 will give you 3. Okay, T3, the third term minus second term, third term minus second term, 8 minus 5, you will get. 3 also okay or 5th term minus the 4th term 14 minus 11 you have got the 3 also see all will give you same difference okay so you always use the, the next term my, minus the previous term so if what if if you use the first term minus second term what will happen first term minus second term means you use 2 minus 5 and then you will got 
negative 3. Okay, mean this one is wrong. We, we can only use the second term minus first term. We cannot use the first term minus second term. Okay, because you you have to get the constant value for the distance. Mean all the difference among them will will be same, have to be same. Same number, which is 3. So if you got negative 3, it's wrong. So you cannot use the first term minus second term, or you cannot use the third term minus the fourth term, which is wrong. And you cannot use also, or let's say, the fifth term minus the third term. Okay, you can only like, okay, you can only like, for example, okay, we write in proper uh, mathematics patterns, we call it Tn plus 1 minus Tn. Okay, what is the meaning Tn plus 1 minus Tn? Let's say you want to use, let's say you assume n is 5. So Tn plus 1, 5 plus 1, you got 6 minus term 5. Mean the difference, in order to find the difference, the term between them have to be 1 only. So if you use the fifth term minus the third term, means the difference be between the term among them is 2 already. Cannot. Can only T4 minus, uh, T5 minus T4 or T4 minus T3. You cannot use T5 minus T3. Why? Because after you minus, you got 14 minus 8, which will give you 6. 6 is not 3. So this one, these two, you cannot. So in order to get the difference, you have to remember you can use the next term minus the previous term. Always use the term behind minus the term in front. Term behind minus the term in front. This is very important. Even I know this is, this is considered very easy to a lot of students. But then in exam, some students will got it wrong also. They will use the in front term minus the behind term. Then you got it wrong. Okay, so first term is always A. D stands for different. T stands for term. Okay, so D is what is the difference between them. So use the 5 minus 2. Don't use 2 minus 5. Okay, I repeat here a lot of time already. So I, I think you are quite clear about this. Okay, then we go to other things. Okay, same thing here. You will see some... You will see some okay, you will see some data over here, some number. Okay, so what is the first term A? First term here, A, I said A stands for T1. T1 means the first number is 98. So A will equal to 98. Okay, what what is D? Okay, you can simply choose anyone. Let's say I choose this one. Okay, this is one, two, three, four. The fourth term minus the third term, T4 minus t3 which is will give you 74 minus 82 then will give you negative 8 okay so the d is equal to negative 8 d you can get negative value for d okay d is not necessarily always positive one because a lot of students will think hey, the in front number is bigger i should use in front number minus the behind number no you are wrong because you, you can see actually the number becomes the value of the number becomes smaller smaller and smaller mean the actually value is decreasing that when the value is decreasing you should get you should got negative for your d okay if the value is increasing then you like this one the value is increasing mean you have got positive value for your d okay this is something very common sense so i hope you won't confuse so okay here d i got equal to negative a Okay, A I got equal to 98. A is very simple, always the first term. Okay, now I got this basic information. But then, here I only have from T1, T2, T3, T4, until T5. So, for example, for example, I only have until the fifth, fifth term over here. So, if, what if I want to find the term number 12 okay because number 12 you impossible you like plus one by one plus one by one until 12 
Okay, even you can do that, but then we will waste a lot of time. Because, for example, if okay, 12, you, you see you can, uh, maybe you, you think that you can plus one by one. Okay, now we change something. I want the, f the next 42 term. Okay, now we only have the term two. Uh, means this, this number, if I continue until the 42 term, what value I will get? Okay, so in order to calculate this one, you need to know one formula. We call it Tn will equal to A plus N minus 1D. Okay, this is very, very important formula over here, which is the formula to calculate which term you want to find. So, for example, now I want to find the 42, uh, the 42 term. Okay, so if I want to find the 42 term means I just means I have to understand Tn. Tn, the 42 over here is n. n equal to 42. Okay, mean if you want to find the fifth term, the n equal to 5. So you want to find the 42 term, n equal to 42. Okay, you A, you got A, yes. D, you got D, yes. N, you got N, yes. So you got all this value, then you can just put in the formula. So I write T42 will equal to A. A is 98 plus N minus 1. N is 42. 42 minus 1 multiple D, negative 8. Then means 98. This is 41 multiple negative 8. Okay, this is not minus 8, uh, it's multiple. Negative 8. Then we will get 41, 3, 2, we will get 41, 3, 2, 8. So we get negative 3, 2, 8. So 98 minus 3, 2, 8, we will got, we will got what value? We will got 0, uh, 3, and 2. Okay, we will got negative. 230 okay means if you this number you continue decreasing until the 42 term you got the value negative and then it's negative 230 means you continue this sequence until the 42 okay because because this one this formula is very important because you can calculate any term you want if, if you want to calculate the 9, 999 term you can do so you just put in n equal to 999 then you can got it okay 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 now we, we make this question more challenging for example so for example i want to calculate the first term sum until the fifth term means i want to calculate t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 plus t5 okay mean all these five terms I plus together okay actually you will have some formula to do, it, do this of course you can plus it manually okay however this is not what I want to say here I want to say here okay if you want to plus from T1 plus until T5 this one in this chapter they call it first five term they call it sum of they call it sum of first five term first five term mean now i want to sum of first five term the very important keyword over here is the first first five term means from the first term plus until the fifth term okay this one called sum of first five term and then they got a specific symbol for this one they call s5 s5 will mean sum of the first five term they call it s5 okay okay if you want to use s5 you have to know the formula for sum so the formula actually is the formula actually is okay s n equal to n over 2 and 2a plus n minus 1 multiple d okay so over here you must know the n first five term n now is five because we want sum of the first five term what mean we want to find s5 
because sum of the first five terms is S5. And then we got A. A over here is 98. And then we got D. D is negative 8. See, see, we got all the information just put in. N is equal to 5. 5 divided by 2. Multiple 2A. 2 multiple 98. Plus N is 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 multiple D. D is negative 8. Yeah, we just solve this one. We can get the value. So this one, I leave it outside first. So this one, multiple together, I will got... Uh, 198 okay minus 32 okay then I will got 5 over 2 minus 32 minus 32 you will got 164 and then you simplify you got 8 and 2 okay and then you multiply you got 40 40 40 is 4 410 okay then means I sum of the first five term from this formula, I can get 410. So let's sum together. See, is it? We will got 410 if you plus this five value together. So now 98 plus 90. Okay, we will got 188. And then we plus the term 82. And then this one, we will got, we will got 0, 1, 7, 207. And then we plus again 74. We plus again 74, we will got 344. And then we plus again the 66. We will got 410. See? You will get 410 also. Okay? So that's all for the part one video. Okay? So hope you can understand what is the meaning by SN and what is the meaning by TN. SN means sum of the first N item and TN means sum of the uh the TN means the, the which term you want to find. Okay, thanks for watching the part one.